Hello friends, welcome to episode 15. In this video, we are going to see what are the different ways in which you can create a new case record in Dynamics 365. So let's go ahead and have a look. So there are three ways to create a case in Dynamics 365. The first one is called a quick create where a quick create form opens up and it is possible to create a case using that quick create option. All you need to do is enter basic details to create a case quickly. And later on, if you want, you can edit the details and modify as per the requirement. The second one is by using the case form. Now a case can be created using uh, this uh, detailed case form and the case form contains almost any field that you need to capture all the information and over here you can also use the business process flow that is relevant to your company and the third option is from the activities so for example if you get a phone call or or an email or a task that is that is in the system you can convert those activities into a case uh, rather than copying and pasting all the information you can just click on a button called convert to and then you can convert it to the case so a case can be created by converting any activity in the system all you need to do is open the activity record to convert it into a case An activity can be closed or kept open as per the requirements. Now let's go ahead and have a look into the system. So before we proceed with our example, let's take a scenario. So the company, um, we have a company called Tech Quantum and it has many customers. What it does is it provides a training on Microsoft Dynamics products, let's say Dynamics 365. So there is this particular company called AdventureWorks uh, and it has taken its services, it got trained, but later on, you know, it had some issue uh, where it could not create generate leads. So it uh, logs a support call with Tech Quantum saying that uh, they are not able to qualify leads in Dynamics 365. So how uh, the cases are created in the Tech Quantum uh, customer service? Uh, let's have a look into that. So the first option is the quick create option. So let's say you got a phone call and and you want to and the customer service engineer wants to quickly create um, the case. So what they can do is they can click on uh, the new create uh, record. So if you click on that, you will get an option to say, OK, what do you want to create? In this case, we just want to create a case so we can click on the case. And what it will do is on your right hand side, it will open this quick create form. So in this case, the customer is um, adventure works. Let's take this and the case title can be uh, a simple description, say not able to qualify leads in Dynamics 365. And as a subject, um, now this subject is used for categorization of uh, cases. So we can say that, um, yeah, it is one of the products uh, like the trading product that, or services that we have provided. Uh, in this case, the case is a problem. And uh, if you want, you can specify the contact or you can just leave it blank. Uh, there's no parent case at the moment. And the origin, let's say, was a phone call. We received the phone call uh, stating the issue. And uh, if you want, you can specify the specific product or service. Um, there are these fields called entitlements and SLAs that we will uh, discuss in upcoming videos. For now, we can just leave it blank. And over here, you can also provide uh, a short description. Say that um, while using Dynamics 365, we could not generate leads kindly so these were the statement from um, from the person who gave the phone call so uh, imagine a situation where you have a um, customer service desk or a, or a person s sitting in the reception who received the phone call they can just quickly go ahead and if they have the uh, you know access to the system they can just quickly log uh, the issue and uh, later on a support engineer can uh, you know based on priority they can take up the uh, take up the task so here we have entered some basic information over here and as soon as we say save and close the system will actually create a case in the background and then over here you can see that uh, in your active cases the case is already generated if you want you can go inside or maybe a support engineer can come in and see in the queue that okay there's a new case which has been generated and here 
more details can be viewed so for example uh, you know the email or the phone details of uh, adventure works over here the case title the case number which is automatically generated uh, subjects and description um, that was taken in and the timeline you can add your notes over here as well you can also see all the related uh, other support cases related to this particular customer and of course you can have uh, you can follow through the business process that is you know specific for tech quantum to handle the cases um, so there are many more details which you can see in in the form and as the case progresses you can enter more details under different tabs and um, you know identify qualify research and then resolve the case as a support engineer now as a support engineer the other way to create a case is of course by using the main case form now to be able to create um, cases using the case form you actually need to come to the entity so over here we can click on cases and this is going to show you a list of all the cases available in the system and you will also see an option called new case so when you click on that it will open the main case form and over here you can specify the case title uh, say not able to qualify leads in dynamics 365 and then provide uh, some information over here like the classification the customer adventure works and this will po automatically populate some uh, known uh, fields like uh, the email address of the of the customer and the phone number the customer actually called and uh, you can specify the product if you want entitlement we'll discuss that in upcoming videos you can provide some more information over here in the description and then if you want you can actually go into the details and specify much more information uh, that is related uh, to that customer or this particular case like for example type it's a problem if there's a parent case uh, if it is escalated a yes or no so this, those kind of information you can provide and if you click on save this will actually save the case and it will generate a case number uh, for this case which then can be tracked you can also provide this case number to the customer so they can also track maybe on the portal if this case is available on the portal so they can track it over there and over here you can see that you know what the priority is um, when the case is created what's the status of uh, the case and who's the owner if you want you can also assign this to a particular support engineer um, by clicking on assign and then you can also add this case to a queue you can create a child case you can even cancel the case if it is not uh, really required and later on when you progress through the business process specified by company to handle the cases you can finally uh, identify qualify research and resolve those cases now the third way is that you can actually convert an activity to a case so for example you have uh, a phone call that was received or an email that came into the system or a task that was created so instead of uh, going through quick create or you know creating via the case form you can actually convert an activity into a case itself over here we will take an example that uh, you know let's say the customer actually uh, send an email to the support inbox um, and that email is now tracked in the system and I can see that activity which is created and I can convert that into a case now there are a lot of configuration which is um, required uh, to be able to track the emails which are coming to the system uh, I have not done that in this demo environment so just for an example let's say we have an activity over here which I actually manually created they were not able to generate leads in Microsoft Dynamics 365 be it any activity um, for example if you go to other activities over here there can be task uh, there can be poll comment there can be a phone call or um, you know so so on and so forth so each activity that you see you have an option to convert that into a case so coming back to to the email uh, over here if you want to convert this to a case you can click on convert to so we want to convert this to a case so rather than for you know uh, copying and pasting all the content and creating the case manually you have an easy option over here which uh, lets you convert it directly to a case so it will ask you to specify the customer in this case um, obviously we uh, have uh, adventure works and the subject is um, 
or the classification is uh, that they have used uh, one of our services. Do you want to open a case? I can say yes. Do you want to change the email status to complete it and close the form? Once the case is created, I can actually close the activity that was there. So I say yes, and then I click on convert. And as soon as I do that in the background, it will create, it will actually close the activity and create a case uh, as you can see on your screen uh, right now. So this again is the main case form. And as you progress with the case, you can uh, follow through the business process that has been specified for your company to handle a case. You can enter more information. And over, over, over here, as we have converted the activity to a case, you can see that uh, it automatically notes down in the timeline saying that, you know, this was converted from an, uh, an activity. So these are the three ways that you can use. Uh, why don't you go ahead and try it out for yourself?